Welcome again to the biggest event, England, UK, world. A lot of questions we get asked on every time when it comes to the trial time. What is ZLUP? Oh, what is involved in ZLUP? What is the social test? Why we do the test? Um, I explain to them again and again and again, and this is why we do a single video just on the ZWP, where it come from, why we do it, and what's involved. Yeah. And I'll pass it on to yourself. Yeah, I think uh, for the history you have to know that it's not a special thing from the AVD, all real working breeds, yeah? like German Shepherd, a lot of the German dogs, like Doberman, Pinscher, Rottweiler, have some like character test for breeding for working dogs. Yeah, We have too many people in the whole world, they call a dog working dog or working line breeding, when for example some dog have to bite a pet or things like this, but we want to have everything together. But this is based on very old tests. We have uh, make it a little bit more modern, put something in, a little bit special, but we want to see and want to judge how brave is the dog, how uh, hard is the dog, but also is the dog social enough, is the dog good with environmental things, all you need later for real working. The surprise attack, yeah, it's like defending the owner and defending himself. Then we have the courage test, also a lot of environmental things, we have shooting tests inside, but also a lot of people speaking only about biting, biting. This is not our only goal, well, yeah. the dog has to be balanced, that we yeah, get everything this together. Is. This is the reason yeah. we also have social things. Yeah. 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 So we uh, originally, the AVDEV, we done the ZWP 1 and 2 as the breed test for the Presser Canaria. We have like four tests together. You have to make the character test, yeah. and this is the character test. Uh, but we also have like a type test, but this yeah. is special for Presser Canaria. Then the endurance test, the 25 yeah. kilometers running in two Full hours. Yeah. And the heels test, yeah. and all together, then you get the breeding permission. Also today, we have a lot of crossbreeds, mixed breeds here. It's every time good. If the breeder is honest, he has to agree that the dog must be able to pass a test like this. Yeah, Otherwise, this is not a dog yeah, for so breeding, for working. Yeah, yeah, it's an accessible title for all breeds. Yeah. This is what made it so popular. Yeah. Because nobody wants to have a dog who run away in courage yeah, or say, yeah. ah, the dog is biting but only on leash. Yeah. Or the dog is very shy with shooting because yeah. you never can use the dog. For myself, my shepherds have to pass. Yeah. My Malinois have to pass. Yesterday, I think we made another record, 100 ZWP 1s and 2s. Um, a little bit more. Yeah, maybe more. So, um, it's very, very popular. It's not an easy test. Like Arm was saying, a lot of people just worry about the biting side and then they fail the social. You know, you've got to have a good, balanced, all-round dog. Maybe we can go to the rules, yeah? yeah. Uh, it means in the protection part, we have a blind attack, yeah, a surprise attack from a blind, yeah? But for example, if you have like well-trained dogs, then there's no problem to do it with the seal. Yeah. But also, for example, when we go to Canary Island, take one dog, maybe a dog was living the whole life only on chain, yeah. or a real green dog. But if the dog is real good, then yeah. he can pass also when he is green. I, I think the best is we, we, we explain directly the stations. Well, yeah. what the dog have to do, yeah. yeah? Have to do it in one day, because we don't want that somebody only train like the biting work and later try only the social maybe with one week between or yeah. even more so we start with the social normally when it's a little bit smaller and then you have a, a moving group of person and you have go through yeah it's like you go in a big city and go through people so you cannot say okay here sit down things like this you go with more like long leash the dog has to be or must show a behavior what is okay also in public situation then we have uh, the umbrella test. The umbrella test also means not like like a grandma walking with an umbrella. It's more like a small thing. Boom, get quick. And this is very often a problem for dogs. They can get a little bit shot. And then we want to see if the dog can come quickly over it, or maybe it's absolutely not well, or really you have a problem. Yeah. Then we have the shooting test with a nine millimeter uh, on. Uh, around 8 meters, first shot, uh, second shot will be at 4 meters. But if you have a dog with a real genetic uh, shoot problem, with a loud noise, then you not can train this. Yeah? And this would be also 
uh, very important for breathing because you have you, this problem in your bloodline, you will never get it out without tests like this. Yeah, uh, uh, tarpaulin. Yeah, yeah, this is. Just walk under the tarpaulin. You'll see this all in the film. And the dog goes under, if they see a problem, back under, the dog can jump and uh, try to catch the tarpaulin, it's not a problem. But the dog must be neutral to the tarpaulin. Not, uh, Especially the dog, we don't want back. to see a dog with the tail between uh, the legs, things like this. Yeah. The mostly speaking about the protection things, uh, you have to go in straight line to one blind and uh, a few meters before the dog on the same level as the blind, the decoy has to come out, make an aggressive attack. The dog has to bite, has to stop the decoy, and the decoy will give one stick it. One pretend stick it with yeah. a lot of noise, gives the dog the chance to, to release. Away if he will. Yeah. Yeah. Then another third one. But yeah. I've seen many times on the internet, oh, dog let go, then they still pass. If on the second stick or the first stick here, the dog bites and let's go. Then you get the second, you get chance. second chance. But when the dog rebites, the stick hit comes again, then the pretend, then the third one. But, but if he's not able to hold the ticket because he's not hard enough, then the decoy stops off. With the courage test, uh, it means the, the dog is uh, long distance. The decoy goes through with a little bit uh, like aggression or dominance. When he's sure that the dog has enough uh, attention to him, then you run away. And the run away, uh, build up in this moment is prey drive. Yeah? Uh, then you send the dog, and the dog is thinking, okay, I get him quickly, like a two way rabbit or something like this. When the dog is near the decoy, then the decoy turn around and run a little bit against the dog, quick shot, and put absolutely the prey drive out, fight drive. Yeah, fight drive is not a real drive, but uh, that the dog has the courage and say, okay, if you want to fight me, no problem, I also I'm want to fight uh, him. So then we have in the setup in P2 uh, the surprise attack much harder against the dog. Try to get a little bit distance that the decoy directly come with a lot of speed and crash in the dog. In the one he's more like hiding, waiting and come out. And with the setup in P2 we try that we really run in the dog, that the dog has no chance to target very much. So in the two we have to wear a full suit because dog can bite everywhere and this happens very often because this is a real surprise and the dog won't see nearly nothing and have to defend himself and uh, have to show that he has the correct rise and the correct courage. For the long sense, the courage test, then the decoy is also nearly the same but runs much harder against the dog. ZRP1, the decoy try to catch the dog a little bit nice and in the ZRP2, the decoy directly try to make a big crash with the dog to make more pressure. This is, this is by, by, by fact where you can com, uh, compare very good yeah. like, like wild born because we have some animals they only want to run away. With the boar or with some cattle it's the same, they run and then they say boom. Now he is a good area to fight and then they turn around and a lot of dogs get this shot. But I think you will see it in some video clips we will put in the video then it's easier. Hi guys, hope you enjoyed the video all about the ZWP 1 and 2. I hope it explains everything in depth for you. Any questions you can fire away. Next time you'll be able to see the ZWP 1 and 2 will be August 5th onwards. We'll have more info nearer the date. Arn Polamaya will be coming over for a decoy seminar, security uh, competition, there's a security dog certification, and we'll be doing ZWP 1 and 2s. Everybody welcome to come and watch, and if you want to enter on the day, it's £25 per dog for the ZWP 1 or 2. Remember guys, more holding the lead, less pressing the keys.